The Morning Office for August 9th. Let the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. Let them be merry and joyful. Rise up, O Lord, lift up your hand, O God. Be exalted, O Lord, in your might. We will sing and praise your power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. The morning reading is taken from Luke's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 68 through 70. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited his people. He has set them free, and he has established for us a saving power in the house of his servant David, just as he proclaimed by the mouth of his holy prophets from ancient times. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. The morning psalm is taken from Psalms chapter 104, verses 17 through 19. The trees of the Lord are full of sap, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted, in which the birds build their nest, and in whose top the stork makes his dwelling. The high hills are a refuge for the mountain goats, and his stony cliffs for the rock badgers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord of hosts, and this is his name. He is the King of glory. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let your continual mercy, O Lord, cleanse and defend your church. And because it cannot continue in safety without your help, Protect and govern it always by your goodness, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Lord God Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ my Lord. Amen.